Welcome to Knowing the Bible. My name is David and I'm here to talk to you about something that all of us deal with at some point in our lives. Worry. We're going to take a look at the top 10 Bible verses about worry and how to overcome it so that we can live a more peaceful life. Listen now to my friend Daniel and don't forget to subscribe. We know how hard it can be to deal with worry. That's why we have put together this video of Bible verses about worry that will help you to overcome it. God knows what we're dealing with and He wants us to cast all our cares on Him because He cares for us. So please watch this video and let these verses encourage you. Let us know your favorite Bible verse about worry in the comments. Be careful for nothing. But in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. In Philippians 4, 6-7, Paul encourages the reader to trust in God and not worry about anything. He urges us to pray about our concerns and thank God for all that He has provided for us. By doing so, we will experience a peace that surpasses all understanding. In verse 6, Paul tells us not to be anxious about anything but instead bring our requests to God through prayer and thanksgiving. This does not mean we ignore our problems or pretend they don't exist. Rather, we are to trust in God's power and goodness to take care of them for us. In verse 7, Paul assures us that when we make prayer and thanksgiving a priori, the peace of God will guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. This peace is not dependent on our circumstances or what is happening around us. Rather, it comes from trusting in the character and sovereignty of God. Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. In 1 Peter 5, 7, the apostle urges believers to cast all of their anxiety and worries onto God because he cares for them. This does not mean that we should neglect our responsibilities or ignore problems in our lives. Rather, we should trust in God's perfect timing and his ability to provide for us. By giving our worries to Him, we can experience peace and joy in the midst of difficult circumstances. Additionally, acknowledging God as our source of strength allows us to rely on Him instead of relying on our own limited abilities. Heaven is in the heart of man maketh it stoop, but a good word maketh it glad. This verse is saying that when a person is weighed down with worry or stress, it causes them to become discouraged and downtrodden. However, a kind or encouraging word can lift their spirits and bring joy. This can be applied to our own lives by recognizing the power of our words. We should strive to speak words that build others up rather than tear them down. In addition, we should also actively seek out encouragers in our own lives who can lift us up during difficult times and remind us of the goodness and faithfulness of God. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. In Matthew 6, 33-34, Jesus teaches that we should focus on seeking God's kingdom and righteousness above all else, for He will provide for our needs. This does not mean we should not plan and work towards our own needs, but rather that we should trust in God's provision and not worry about what we will eat or wear. We can trust in God's goodness and His promise to take care of us. I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. In other words, with God's strength and support, we are able to handle any situation or struggle that comes our way. 
This does not mean that we will never experience hardship or difficulty, but it does mean that we have the ability to persevere and overcome these challenges with God's help. Ultimately, trusting in God and relying on His strength allows us to have peace and joy in all circumstances, rather than being overwhelmed by worry and fear. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart and ye shall find rest under your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. In Matthew 11, 28 to 30, Jesus offers rest to those who are weary and burdened. He calls on them to come to him, for he is gentle and humble in heart. This does not mean that believers will no longer have issues or struggles but rather that we can find peace and rest in Jesus amidst those challenges. This is because he offers forgiveness of sins and the burden of sin is lifted from us. We can trust in him and his strength instead of becoming overwhelmed with worry and fear. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Basically, Jesus is telling his disciples not to worry or fear because he is leaving them with his peace. This peace is not the temporary peace that the world offers, but a lasting and true peace. In times of trouble or fear, we can rely on Jesus and his peace to guide us and calm our hearts. Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his stature? In Matthew 6.27, Jesus is teaching his disciples about the importance of not worrying. He reminds them that they cannot add any time to their life by worrying and instead should focus on seeking God's kingdom and righteousness. He also assures them that God will take care of their needs just as he cares for the birds and flowers. This verse encourages us to trust in God's provision and not be consumed by anxiety about our daily lives. Instead, we should prioritize seeking God's will and trusting in his faithfulness to provide for us. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain them. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. This verse is encouraging believers to trust in God and hand over their worries and burdens to Him. God is capable of sustaining us and will not allow the righteous to be shaken or moved. We can trust in His strength and provision instead of constantly carrying the weight of our concerns. By entrusting our troubles to God, we can experience His peace and comfort in the midst of difficult situations. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. This does not mean that God will give us everything we desire or think we need, but rather he will provide for what is truly necessary for our well-being and growth in him. This verse serves as a reminder to trust in God's provision rather than worrying about the things of this world. We can rest assured that if we seek first his kingdom, he will take care of the rest. Matthew 6.33